Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to copy files to OneDrive for business and personal as well as SharePoint Online. They're basically all the same steps using GHH Copy 360. So first to create a job, go right click and say create a new job. We're going to skip the wizard. Give the job a name. I'm just going to give the job a, a logical name. Here in the source, you would want to select where you want to copy from. In this case, we're going to be using local disk. However, if you wanted to copy from a different cloud provider, you just click on the drop down, you select the cloud provider of choice. In this case, we're going to be using local disk. I'm going to browse, select the drive. I'm going to copy from share one. I'd like to copy root folder and copy files instantly. Now to copy to OneDrive or SharePoint, we click on the where it says destination type, we click on the drop down, select OneDrive SharePoint. Now we need to add that account, so we click on the plus sign and we give that uh, account a label, like an alias. OneDrive creds. Now when it comes to copying to OneDrive or SharePoint, there are two different authentication methods that you could use. The first one is user, authentica user authentication, and the second one is app authorization. App authorization is normally preferred if you are a global admin and you have a lot of files to copy, like this is a, a large batch job that you need to copy, like in terms of migration or backups. If you're just if you don't have global admins, then you can just log in with user authentication, and that will suffice. In this case, we'll give you an example of both. So we're going to click on user authentication. We're going to click on authenticate. You only need to do one of the two, but in this case, we're going to show you both. So clicked on it, prompted us to log in, type in my username and password. Prompted us. Connect, access has been granted to GSRH copy. Now you see the token has been populated. If I click on test, it comes back as successful and I can proceed forward. However, now we'll just show you how to do the app authorization. Pretty simple, almost the same steps. Select that option, click authorize. It opens up the web browser. It's asking me to log in. It's asking, it's going to grant that access, click accept, close it, and now you see the token has been provided. If I click test, it's successful, click save. Now we can click on the browse. You see the credentials that we've selected, we've created, has been added here. And that's what you're connecting as. Click on the browse button. And you see all the different accessible folders, OneDrive and SharePoint. In this case, we're just going to copy to OneDrive here, click OK, click Save. Now the job has been created. If I wanted to trigger the job or to start it, right-click on it and click Start. You see the job is now queued and it should run momentarily. We can click where it says queued so we can look at the progress. You see the job is now collecting to OneDrive. And it's using four different threads. And files are now copying. You can see it's 41%. This is just a small job, for example. Now it's green. Green means that the job did not encounter any errors and all files have been copied successfully. If you wanted to copy from SharePoint or OneDrive, very simple. Just double click on the job. Basically, reverse the source and destination. So, for source, you click on the drop down, select SharePoint and OneDrive. For account, as far as a connect as, in this case, we could use the same that when we created earlier, since we used it before and saved in our library. We can click on browse, and if you click here, you'll see share one. That's the job that we just created and we copied files up to OneDrive. Click OK, and then you can select where you want to copy to. You can also copy to another well, Office 365 location if you want to do so. 
It could be the same tenants or different tenant. It doesn't really matter. Hopefully this gave you all the information you needed and um, you found it easy and simple. If you do have any questions, do reach out to support at gurusquad.com. Thank you for watching and come back to watch additional videos. Thanks.